Hello everyone, welcome to the Vaadin Studios in Finland. I'm Ville, I'm here with Mark. Hello everyone. Yes, we got some pretty exciting news for you guys today. So this is the day when the Vaadin designer is finally out. Yay! Now it's out, awesome. awesome. We, can see the, we can see the fireworks, we can even smell the fireworks, taste the champagne. But uh, so far we have to just imagine that. But anyways, so what we want to actually show you guys. Okay, so we got this new product out, the Vaadin Designer. And uh, the main question for you guys is what you can do with that, how you can really get benefit out of that. So we thought to show you guys the tool in action. So build something substantial from scratch so you, can, you guys can see what it's all about. So this is something really interesting that you Mark been following, right? This 100 yes. days of UI. So this could be something we could use here, right? So could you actually talk a bit about this thing? What is it? Yeah, so uh, this Paul Flavius Nechita, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, uh, has been uh, doing a project for himself, uh, sort of challenging himself to uh, do a UI part of a UI for 100 days straight. And he has been doing this on Dribbble and inviting people to participate. And uh, the project just ended in October. So I've been looking at this. It's a very cool project. Uh, there are lots of, of rebounds also on his, his uploads. Uh, and so I was looking at this and thought that we could use this as, as sort of a base for our project today. Sounds good. So there's a lot of screen hairs, as I mentioned, you know, a hundred days straight been doing this. So I thought we'd just select something that, that suits Vardin well. Yeah. So sort of an application like, and, and also we have a limited time, so it yeah. should be easy to follow. Yeah, but really good looking stuff all together, all of that. So, but you found something specific, something that could be interesting for us. Yeah, so what we have here is day 38. So I thought we'd try that out. So it's, mm. it's sort of an email client. Okay. So uh, I thought that we could use that as a sort of a target to, for us. Yeah. Uh, not to have like perfect fidelity or, or do any, everything exactly like this. Yeah, but yeah. as you can see, this is sort of a um, standalone application also. So right. that doesn't make sense, but just sort of aiming for this. Yeah, and that uh, still follows the same kind of typical VAD in UI type of thing as well. Yes. So yes. It, is, it is a single app and uh, that's pretty much it. Not a web yes. page in a sense. All right, so, so the idea here is for you guys that, okay, this is the target. We found this online from Dribble by Paul, looking really good. We want to do the same thing. And now we're going to do that with Vaadin Designer. Yes. All right. So let's, do let's get started. So I have the designer installed in my Eclipse, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I have a, a regular Vaadin project set up. So as you all know and love. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new Vaadin design. And uh, the defaults are usually okay here. It, it will detect if you have Maven or, or whatever project you have. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just going to give this a name. So it's going to be like the main application design. So right. application uh, design, mm -hmm. for instance. And then what we have below here, you can see it says templates. It's almost as cheating, but you know, it's built in. So, <laughs> so yeah. we have, we have the uh, Java guy, the Java guy talking here. So. Yeah, <laughs> we, we have some um, some built-in templates, and you can also make your own. Yeah. And what it does, we are going to to choose the responsive application template here as mm -hmm. an example. So what it does is it sets up the basic structure for your application. So right. let's let's do that. Okay. Okay. There it is. So, yes. so did I get it right? So you wanted to choose this, this template because the template already has this kind of menu structure on yeah. the left hand and the content on the right. So pretty much that's the only reason so far why you choose this template for uh, this case. Yeah, exactly. And, and this is also based on the Valo uh, right. theme that we have. So it doesn't actually do any magic with, with CSS or so on. It's mm. pretty much built into to Vaadin. Uh, so it just it doesn't match our target very closely, but it has that menu and so on. And it's also responsive. So I, I could show you what that means. So if I actually, if I, if I just um, 
flip the view here so it's more narrow the the menu mm, will collapse yeah, automatically that's cool. that's cool that's cool yeah so uh, actually i should close some panels here because we have a uh, quite a small resolution yeah, we got some here. more space so could you mark actually before we actually start building this whole system could you uh, walk us through on the main parts of the actual designer tool in Eclipse, what are those little yeah. things? Yeah, that's a good idea. So what I what I already showed you here, in, or not showed you, but I, mm -hmm. I did use it. Yes, yes. So the first thing here is actually uh, the presets for the size presets. So you can actually have preview your design quickly on different sizes. So it changes the viewport and you can see how your UI right. elements respond. Right. Uh, you can also add your own presets if you have like uh, a specific uh, size target for say a portal or something. Mm -hmm. uh, I used this already. Uh, it rotates uh, so you can flip the orientation of the device. We have some settings. Uh, you can choose the theme if your application has multiple themes. Mm -hmm. uh, then you can switch between different views. So, so uh, the design that you are making is actually based on a declarative uh, right, format. Okay. And then uh, you also have a separate preview of what you have, what you have made. So you can sort of interact with the, the components instead of just dragging and, and, and okay. dropping. Uh, uh, so over to the right here, uh, and this is a clip so you can actually move around stuff like the panels that you have. Mm -hmm. So the three panels that you will need is outline, which is the hierarchy of the, the application. You can right. see all your components. Uh, the palette, which has the components that you can use, you can drag into your design. Okay. And then you have the properties for the selected component. Okay. And so just to, to clarify some things here, because as you see, the template we used set up a, a quite a structure for us here. So just to explain what that does uh, with the responsive stuff and so on, uh, the top level layout here actually has just a style name called Valo Menu Responsive. Okay, all right. Uh, and the responsive checkbox is, is checked here. Uh, so how the Vardin Responsive works, I guess you can see a different webinar or go online yeah, and have a look a at that. Yeah, there's a lot of material on that. Yeah. But, but yeah, so this sets up that whole structure. So what it, the other things that we have here is uh, the menu with menu items. So that's just a style name, Valo menu item and so on. And it will automatically do yeah, some, okay. some styling. So basically, if you're using the Valo theme and you have this type of structure with those style names per each part of it, then the responsive actually works yeah, pretty much it's, out of it's the box. It's very convenient. Of course, if you are doing it from Java, it will require some, some code to set this up. Yeah. So that's one of the good things you get that from the template already. You have the basic structure. Yeah, okay. So that's, as, the, as reason, we, yeah. that's yeah. the reason for the template. All the heavy lifting is already done for you to yeah. actually get all the things in place. So now. that's the good. cheating I mentioned. No, it's not cheating. So, <laughs> okay, we have the basic, basic uh, application here now. Okay. To, to start from, but it doesn't match this very closely. Right. So uh, let's start working on it. And I thought that we would first do like the layout, the design mm -hmm. itself, and then look at how you actually use that in your application. Okay, uh, makes sense. So uh, this is, as I mentioned, seems to be a standalone application, the, the screenshot. So um, we don't need those buttons and we probably don't need this, this title here. Yeah. So let's just remove some stuff. Uh, the first thing we notice is that we could hijack this button to be the compose button. That yeah, I that's assume kind of the is. primary action yes. is designed so, there. So let's do some changes here. Instead of having it as, as the menu item, uh, I'm going to open up the style dialog here and see the built-in styles that come with, mm, okay. with uh, voilà. So we have a button here. I probably want it borderless and I want the icon to be on top. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a style for that. Okay. So let's see how that works out. All right. Okay. So, and what we also want to do, we want to probably have some more space for it. So I guess, you know, 150 PX. We already have some space here. Yeah, looks uh, good. Compose should be the action and let's rename it here as well. 
and uh, the icon doesn't seem to match mm -hmm. what we are looking for. Okay, so you can choose some icons here, some built-in icons from Vardin or what Yes, are these? so these are the font awesome icons that are come with nice. Vardin, so nice. I can go ahead and choose one of these and they scale nicely, so let's do edit for that, I think, yeah. And you can see it's quite small, it doesn't look like this, but yeah. let's, let's leave it like this for the time being and, and work on some other stuff here. Okay. So continuing down, we need an inbox draft, sent junk, trash flag, and they do have the small uh, additional information that we also have here. Okay. So let's remove that. The inbox is okay here. And we have, I think we are going to leave the icons here or add uh, icons, although the original does not have icons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Front. Yeah, but well, we could, uh, we could have some icons there. Yeah. So show, show the audience how to so, yeah. do that. So maybe here I can uh, actually copy those for those two last items that we had. And uh, yeah, let's start making this into into what we have. So we have draft sent and junk. Okay, change so the change the caption drafts from the properties and change then the ag icon again yeah. the the icon here. So like I think there is something called files, which has like documents like that. Mm, fits. Uh, the next one is sent sent uh, I think that there is like a paper plane which is used in many many email applications mm -hmm. so let's do that okay uh, the next one is junk junk change the icon to like okay but you're basically doing the same thing all over so it's just simple things change the caption choose the choose the icon and that's it yeah yeah true okay so, so maybe we can we can fast forward for you guys so that mark has changed all the captions and the icons and we get back okay and we're done so so now you change the caption names and all the, all the icons in the design file here and uh, maybe we could have a quick look on the actual idea, the design by Paul, yes. how it looks like. Okay, so we got... So we have all these basic yeah. menu items. Okay, now we got and them And our miniature compose button, mm -hmm. which we'll fix in a minute. Uh, the, thing, the screenshot here is not responsive, but our application is. So uh, we should sort of keep track of that we don't destroy anything True. on the other sizes. Okay. So I thought that let's now introduce one of the quite nice features. Oh that yeah, we this have. is I love it. Yeah. So we have something called the external preview, mm -hmm. uh, and as you can see, it has an address and a QR code. Uh, so I can actually take my device and read that QR code. I will get a live preview of what's going on here. And so I can see now somebody connected. I assume that's you. Vila. Yes, me. Yes, I'm guilty. <laughs> so, so yes, uh, now you should be able to see uh, the design that we have done. So if you actually have a smaller size, you will notice that the menu is kind of different. Yeah, so let's see if we can switch to my screen. I actually have the uh, iPad sized view of the application here yeah. running. So this is this is updated real time right so whatever you do there is updated directly to my yes my page as well it and, is and so the difference we see here now is like you said the responsive side my menu is looking a bit different than yours so the responsive rules have been applied yes. to my menu so the responsive rules are a, they have a specific breakpoint so that's the width yeah. that they react on. So actually, if you enlarge your browser, you will get the exact same view that I'm looking at. Yeah. And so on. So yes. Uh, so with that open, I guess we can... Yeah, maybe you could actually do some little changes there. So, yeah, uh, okay. So, so we uh, could actually watch my screen and so, see how that updates. Yeah, so if you watch the Compose button now, uh, I'll actually remove it. All right. And that disappeared right away. Now it disappeared. Awesome. And uh, I do undo and it's back. 
All right. On both our Let's screens. See. Uh, yes. And it's back. Yeah. So that's awesome. I mean, yeah, I could do pretty much anything here. All right. So basically, you know, you can, so you can, you can, you can, get, can actually yeah. leave it open and, yeah, and I can we can switch open, to it from can, time to time to view yeah. because it actually helps me in signing here. So usually yeah. I would have the iPad open or the phone open so I can yeah. look. Yeah, but I think that's it. really cool. You know, you do your thing with the designer and you have an iPad or an iPhone open all the time with this, this view on and you can see how it looks. So you yeah, can fix it's, everything it's right away. It's quite useful. That's, you don't have to. That's amazing. Even if it's easy to use the presets here and resize and so yeah. on, it's actually quite useful that you uh, you can see if it's okay on the device. And if you notice that, oh, I need to adjust that on the device size, then you can like resize on your in your Eclipse yeah, and do right. those changes. So nice. Uh, yes, so let's switch yeah. back to the screenshot for a while. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so we, we kind of have the menu. Uh, should we style it a little bit or should we do the, the header? Uh, maybe thing? we can do, you know, so go step by step. So maybe we just actually style the menu a bit now yeah. before so, we continue. So that's, you know, it looks better. Yeah, so that actually will uh, show another quite cool thing because styling in 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 Vaadin or any web framework is uh, for many quite a challenge so you have yeah. to go back and forth between the browser and try to figure out stuff so oh yeah be uh, there so let's open up the theme here so we have our designer demo theme and what I'll do is actually I'll sp split the screen here and have a have a small editor below our mm -hmm. actual uh, view so we have the, the basic uh, theme that Vaadin creates for you uh, with some examples of what you can change, what properties you can change in, yeah. uh, in uh, Valo. Uh, so you can actually, if I go over here, there's a good section in the, in the book mm -hmm. about this. Uh, there's also a document like API documentation of what variables yeah. and what mixings there are in the team yeah. and also we have like uh, ready-made yeah these yeah sets yeah, yeah so properties you can just copy in and you get a completely different look yeah so that's so, that's quite quite cool actually what do you I, think if we would now throw in some some of the examples uh yeah let's let's do it let's uh so I have that blueprint that I just showed you uh, mm -hmm. from the wiki. Yeah. Uh, so let's apply that and see what happens. Whoa. So you can see that the whole application actually changes uh, to nice. something completely different. And uh, so the Valo team engine actually calculates also. So you get, you get like uh, the correct uh, contrast on your text if you just set the background and so on yeah okay so it's pretty cool so let's remove that i actually did some research in the app mm -hmm. documentation and uh, and so if we switch back to this we can see that it's sort of a brownish color yeah, it's sort of say. translucent so so mm -hmm. you can't really tell but yeah uh we'll just we'll just do something here so uh the volo menu background color Mm -hmm. will affect just the menu instead of the right. whole background as we did mm -hmm. a moment ago. So now it changes the whole yeah, little menu. Change. Uh, and you can see that the text also changed with just this one parameter. Yeah. Uh, the blue doesn't really fit to my eye, but mm. that's actually the focus color. So we can actually change that to be, be something a more grayish nice. hue. Uh, and also, I noticed that these are quite round here in the screenshot. Yeah, there's a bit of a rounded look yeah. and feel to that. So we have the V-border radius, which is in the examples included here. Mm -hmm. So we can try to apply that and we'll get a much rounder nice. look. Good. So, so far, so good. Uh, the Compose button. Yeah, it was a bit dominant. In the uh, yeah, original so one. it's it's big and it's white or at least very light. Yeah. So let's add a style name to it that we can add CSS to. So okay. Okay. So now we switch from Valo to more traditional CSS. Yeah. So style. I can uh, 
Yeah, these borderless icon align and so on, they are built into. Right. And now I want to create my own, so I make up my own style name mm -hmm. and then I add it to my theme. So it says insert own style names here, so uh, compose and we will actually want to affect the we icon element. And if you don't know that, you can look in the book, which has a list yeah. of all these, or you can actually open up this in your Chrome and use the inspector and so on. Yeah. So uh, let's go ahead and make this bigger. It's actually a font icon, so it's font size. Yes. And let's make it big. See if that, yeah, it's bigger. And we want mm -hmm. we want it to be like white, maybe. That's mm -hmm. pretty bright. Yeah, that's, that's quite bright. Maybe a bit down. Yeah, yeah. So we we choose something here to our our liking. Okay. Looks better. Yeah. So that sort of handles the compose button now. Mm -hmm. uh, the next thing I notice is that there is much more air in this. Menu. Yeah, true. It is quite a yeah. Yeah. So uh, actually, let's apply it to the actual item because, uh, as you notice, not only is the menu wider, mm -hmm. uh, it's actually uh, these small bubbles are going to the side, and so there's just sort of more space in the middle. Right. Uh, so. So the follow menu item caption is probably what we want. Mm -hmm. And let's add some min width to that. Uh, I don't know, also 150 px maybe. Good. And so that changes it. But uh, how do you think that works on our smaller screen? Yeah, well, I have this uh, preview open here in my, my screen, so if we switch to that, we can see what actually yeah. happened. So you can see that that didn't mm, really right. work out very well. Okay, so what hap uh, something happened. So. Yes, yeah, so because we just applied that width to all the captions mm -hmm. uh, at all sizes, yeah. they will not look good on the smaller size. Okay. So what, what we can do is actually make use of, of uh, responsive and uh, okay. make, it, make it work that way. Okay. So you can see here that I added a volume menu responsive uh, selector and when that's our top level mm -hmm. layout yeah. when that layout goes above uh, this pixel size that i okay. mentioned then we will apply, apply these styles okay right so uh, so with any luck here when i adjust this uh, on the bigger size yeah, that uh, looks good as we want it. Good. And, and actually, let's see, the, let's see the other size. one as well on my screen. Yes, they are correct. They are correct. Okay, so that applies only when the screen is bigger and mine's not. So uh, everything's cool. Yeah. All good. So that starts actually when you see on your screen, it looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, so. I actually like this design. This is, uh, I like it. So uh, maybe we should add some content to that. Yes, so, so the area. next part, so the right hand side, the content area. So how, how are we going to start building that? So what's yeah, so I can notice right away that uh, there's like an, a header. Uh, normally, if I start adding stuff now, the whole content will scroll, but we want the header to stay put. Probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what I notice here. And then probably we want the, the actual uh, message items to scroll. Yeah. So uh, the plan is to add something on top as a header and then have a panel that will actually automatically handle the scrolling for right. us. Right, okay. So pretty typical Vardin stuff. So whenever yes. you want the content to have a scroll bar, use a panel. Yes. <laughs> pretty much. 
So we have a content uh, layout here. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually will want that to be 100% and actually we don't need any margin for it yeah, anymore. Take the full space. Yeah. yeah. And I think we'll use a horizontal layout for uh, the menu thing. Mm -hmm. I'll add an uh, initial, say, label to it so we can see where it is right now. Okay, so that's and that's your style of using designer, you know, putting in some, you know, simple placeholders for a while. Yeah, just and, so I can yeah. try out if my general yeah. uh, idea works. So actually, since the Vardin designer uses Vardin uh, layouts, it's quite useful if you if you know how those work. Mm. But also the other way around, you can actually, uh, with the designer, learn how the layouts yeah, behave and work. And that's it's a good quite uh, fast to try out different expand ratios and, mm. you know, 100% and so on, full size oh, yeah. that people might have problems with. So you can right away see if it works or not. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, a panel uh, below here. Where did I drop it? Seems about right. And uh, I'm not used to using the pad here mm, instead yeah. of the mouse. So. Uh, so we have a panel here somewhere. Right, there we have it. Oh, yeah. You can actually see it on your screen better. Oh yeah, definitely. So I, we can notice that <laughs> this is one of those Vardin things. Let's actually close our, yeah, I guess or remove don't, our, our yeah, styles here that, for, yeah. for now. So, uh, so we can see they actually split the screen into yeah. equal parts. Uh, so, but actually when I use these quick buttons here to expand it, it will start to look like we actually were. Yeah, exactly. So now so we've got the panel taking that. Biggest yeah. part of the page yeah, all yeah. together. So yeah. while we have that selected, uh, I think we'll use the borderless style that we have already mm -hmm. tried. Yeah. It works on the panel as well, so it will actually not have a color. It will just add the scrolling point. Right. Uh, so now we have like the header and a panel yeah. below. So let's review how. So we're going to have a sort by uh, label here and then a, a combo box, I think. Yeah. So we have the label. Uh, it's a little cramped here right now. So let's enable the margin uh, for, uh, for the horizontal layout. Okay, here. better. Yes. And that was supposed to say sort <laughs> sort by yeah like so yeah and then the combo box combo box uh, so I messed up with the with the mouse pad again let's try that again so do how would it yeah let's see so we need a space and some buttons mm -hmm. okay yeah so uh that's let's just add a button like uh, for a placeholder and we actually want this here to be expanded but uh a fixed width so is that 150 px again? Yeah, that's a good number, <laughs> a good average. Now, now we can see that, well, first of all, the label is not aligned correctly. So we use the quick alignment here. Mm -hmm. And second, we don't have any spacing here. So let's enable that. Okay, good. And so over at the bottom side, let's have a look at what we should have. So we have sort of an X delete button, then we have a, like a group of buttons, and then we have a combo box again. Yeah. So let's start out by removing the caption and adding that. Okay, using the font icons again. Yes. It's quite convenient to use this built-in 
icon. So now we have the button. Uh, we're going to copy that and we yeah. want it to be like a group. Yeah, that's like a button group. So how can we yeah. do that? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap this button in some layout. So a CSS layout in this instance. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to add those. You can see they are closed, but not really a, a group right now. Yeah. So again, we'll open up the styling uh, pop up here and have a look. There is uh, a lot of stuff you can do here. So ready made in, in, in Valo. So we'll choose layout component group. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds and good. you can see that it actually nice. merges those buttons into one. Right. So we want like a reply, a reply all, and a forward button. Yeah, while you change those icons and all that, maybe we could actually have a look on my screen again, how the whole thing starts to look on the uh, iPad or something similar. So yeah, so we can see there's a separate buttons for the clothes and all the button groups are getting into place while Mark is on it. So. Uh, Looking good, steady progress. Oops. Yeah. Changed the wrong button. Yeah, yeah. That, that one. That's the forward. Forward. Mail forward. Yeah. Okay, good. And the last one was a little combo box again, right? So a little combo box, yes. Let's have the combo box and see. Actually, I'm going to show you. You can drop it also in the outline here. Okay, I guess it might be might be even easier when you have a lot of structure in your. If page you have a lot of structure, it it might be, and also if you have like uh, stuff very close aligned and in your yeah, in your yeah. layout, so you actually get sort of a better overview of what you are yeah. aiming for. Mm -hmm. Uh, this was supposed to be, I guess, a, a small combo box. So yeah, a small let's, one. Let's just... I guess that look. might be some kind of a priority or yeah. flag. Um, yeah, it, it looks like that. There's like. no specification here, but... Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, okay, that sort of is our, our uh, header here. Mm -hmm. uh, we can see that actually maybe we can do some styling again because it actually has a... a kind of a line under it, mm -hmm. so yeah, I know that we will need to style it. Uh, so we'll just select the, the whole layout here and again add a style name. So header maybe. Mm -hmm. And over in our styles here, we can add header to our set of uh, styles and that's a border okay it's basic css yeah. stuff here so just choosing some color and see how that looks actually it's updated right away on your screen so oh yes <laughs> i can see that that's uh, yeah it's starting to look good not bad at all yeah all so right so then uh, next up are the actual messages yes and so that's actually the, the place where we, uh, we get to do something separate. So this is actually, this application is kind of monolithic. So you have just like one mm -hmm. view. Yeah. Uh, but the thing that's going to change is the content of the actual messages. Yeah, true. So uh, often what you want to do in your application is that you might actually have many different designs and have them uh, within each other, like nested designs and so on. Yeah. So, but for this demo, I think, what if we do it because we are styling and trying to get a feel of the, how it looks. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought that let's do it here, inline, and yeah. then we make it into its own design. Yeah, sure. So uh, sounds And then we me. get to see yeah. how that Java integration actually works. I think that's interesting for, for all, of the, all of the guys looking to looking at our video here. But yeah, but let's do the, uh, the first design here in place so we get an overall feeling, an idea how it will look like in the end result. Yes, so basically we have uh, a message with like, I think that's the sender and the subject and some content. Uh, 
there is an indicator here of some sort and it's probably fixed size because they yeah. all seem to be yeah. the same size. So uh, let's start by adding a horizontal layout. Uh, this can span the whole view, mm -hmm. but we wanted it to be a specific height. So let's do that like right away. I don't know. Actually, let's let's set a pixel size for that. Yeah, I so think that's better. So 130 maybe, just to be different. Yeah, yeah. 150 was used already. <laughs> yes. Uh, so yeah, uh, once again, you I think that you might want to be able to click on that indicator yeah, that's thing. That's pretty typical, I guess. So, so uh, yeah. let's make that a button as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Again, we will not have an icon, we will use it, or uh, a caption, we will use an icon. Mm -hmm. So just, I guess, star for instance. Yeah. Uh, and again, we want this to be the, of the borderless style. Yeah, true. So that's our uh, Indicator yeah, that's the indicator button, placeholder. And then we need some text. So let's go ahead. Uh, since we need uh, different types of things here, uh, I'm going to actually add a vertical layout here. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one will take up the rest of the space here. Yeah, that takes everything, yeah. Yeah, and then we'll uh, add actually two labels to this like so uh, and the second one is the one that's going to actually take the most room here and so this one will be uh, our this is the sender yeah true yeah and that and was kind of somehow strong in the design yeah right right let's have a look so let's you know, make that bold, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, and our second label uh, is going to have a subject. So let's make the caption subject. Mm -hmm. And let's just add some content to it so we, we can actually see what what is going on here. Yeah, okay. So you have All right, some text, yeah. For the audience, okay. that the text you see here, it's not Finnish. No, it's <laughs> it's gibberish. Yeah. So um, right away, I notice here in the design that there's actually a sort of a line below yeah. with the message separated. Yeah, pretty clear. Yeah. Uh, so let's do that while we are at it. So let's add a style name to this. This might be the yeah con content. Yeah. Uh, and so I can go ahead here and actually we want the same same sort of line here. Mm, yeah, that's the same one. So let's just add that to the to the set. And so now we have a, a line below it. Mm, good. So at this point, we can actually go ahead and. Uh, Yeah, if we uh, maybe we should could add you know one or two more for the for the actual design, so we can you know have an overall idea yeah. on the whole thing. That's right? a good idea. Okay. Uh, so what we need to do then is because we dump this straight in the panel, so to be able to add multiple things, we need to wrap this uh, in a vertical layout. Uh, so, and it should also be. 100% uh, wide. Uh, this is where we will want to po put our yeah, true. messages. Yeah, so that's this, the one. Yeah. this we at least want to access from Java, yeah. which brings me to another point. Uh, you may have seen in the outline here that there are some arrows mm -hmm. yeah, true. with certain component. Uh, that means that they are exported to be used from Java. 
So right. the designer makes it easy for you to, from Java, access these components. Mm -hmm. uh, and also you don't actually have to, you don't have, you have to do a string-based lookup. Mm -hmm. you, they are actually Java objects. And you can, um, you don't have to export everything. So if I'm not going to touch the panel, it's just uh, adding the scrolling part. Yep. I don't have to export this and uh, clutter my Java file. Uh, it doesn't see. Uh, it's not. It doesn't exist in Java at yeah. all. So I'm going to give this a name. So this will be our message list, I yeah. guess. Yeah. So this will actually be the name that we'll use from Java. I'll show you in a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, so now let's go ahead and see if we can uh, actually copy this. Uh, message that we have and see how that looks. Yeah. Okay. It's starting so, to look some things. Yeah, but that was a very good point because if we oh, look yeah. at your screen, we can see that since it's a little bit narrow and the, the messages are getting lower, mm -hmm. uh, longer, it's actually overflowing right now. Right. That w that we can see here. Yeah. This actually yeah. this external preview is pretty powerful. And yeah. We could see that right away. Yeah, so this doesn't occur on my screen because the text just happened to fit. Right. So if I make it if I make it more narrow, I will notice the same thing. Same but thing since going you on. have different views, you can see it right away. Yeah. Uh, so that will need to fix here as well. So I guess we had that. Uh, did we have a style name for our, mm. our message here? I guess we didn't. So we haven't added it. that. So that this could be a message, I guess. Uh, so, and we want the overflow to be hidden in that. And there you have it. Okay, let's see what's going on. So that looks pretty good actually right now. The, yeah, the messages no, are yeah. not overflowing, they are a set size. Uh, it's mm -hmm. starting to look pretty good. Yeah, it's starting to look pretty okay, yeah. So maybe at this point we are actually ready to have a look at the Java side of yeah, things. I think so as well. So we have been using the designer now to design the UI, but we want to actually connect some logic to this. Right, so that's so, eventually what it's all about. So yeah. now we've made this beautiful looking UI with the designer, but the Java side still, we need that yeah. to actually do some things. So obviously we could connect all these buttons and so on, but because we don't actually want to build a backend and, and you yeah. know, we'll leave that for a separate yeah. session. So, uh, so how can we'll I access, so there's some Java magic going on behind the scenes. So how can I access, where is the Java of this design? Yes, yeah, so for this big design right now, uh, we actually have, uh, the designer has automatically created a similarly named Java file. Mm -hmm. So you can see all those, all those uh, components right. that have the export okay. icon are available here. Okay. And what we'll do right now is, because it doesn't make sense to have a set number of messages yeah. in the design. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll, yeah true. We'll actually go ahead and, uh, and copy this, mm -hmm. our whole design here, and uh, and create a new design right. for so, that. Okay, so that for one reuse. message. Okay. Yes. Okay. So uh, message design does make sense. Sounds good. Uh, we have our our content already, so let's make it a blank. Mm -hmm. And what I'll do is actually I'll show you how how this. We now have a completely blank HTML file. Yeah. So it's a declarative format behind the scenes that it's getting produced. Yeah. But we also have that sort of tight Java integration that mm -hmm. we'll see in a minute. So what I'll do is I'll just paste in that layout that we had here. So you can see that it's, it's actual you know, HTML that if it was formatted, you could read it. Mm -hmm. So did I get it correctly? You took just, you know, control copy from the uh, outline view previously. Yeah, yeah, I did. And um, then you just so pasted it directly as HTML to Yeah, the, you can, yeah, you can yeah. actually, you can paste it into your, uh, you know, text editor or whatever, and then paste it back into the designer. Nice. I can actually, you know, 
uh, yeah, paste that text back into the outline or, or into the canvas cool. as well. So. Uh, so yeah, here we have our design now. It looks yeah, pretty it looks, much like yeah, what we familiar. did. And looks what familiar. you can do is actually verify that it scales in the way we wanted. So right. you can see that vertical, it does nothing. Uh, it's, it's a fixed size, but yeah. when, I, when I make it narrower, the, the text will wrap like we want it to. Yeah. So a few things actually, you know, just jump, jump out. So I can see some little parts of text showing behind this uh, border and also the uh, the right hand side is really close yeah to the border so could you actually we, fix do something about we, those we can right do now? that so uh, uh, we could do it uh, probably the best way to do it is to uh, to this vertical layout yeah i guess that. we had some fixed pixels right somewhere uh, i'm not sure what layout it was anymore but yeah, so actually what we can do to fix that right uh, over floating or like uh, is to add a margin and we can actually choose on which side we want to add it. Mm, okay. So I just choose to add it on, on one side and that should fix it. Nice. That's uh, better. The about the text showing up, it depends on if you want to actually if you want to actually like see that it's continuing or you can try to, to adjust it to like any size you want here. Yeah, I guess it would take a few pixels off. Yeah, so like that. Now a bit more maybe. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it by hand here. Really like specific uh, 25. Is that too much? I think it's good. That seems to be perfect. Perfect. All so right. Let's save that. And what we want to do now is, uh, let me show you what that created. So it created a message design. Mm -hmm. uh, it created a Java file that exports those. Uh, so what we would do here is actually export this as, put a name for the, the, the I don't know, what is this? Some sort of... Yeah, status, yeah, yeah. true. Uh, and we also want to set the values, of course, for yeah. the... Uh, so you just, time. yeah, so now we mm -hmm. just have like placeholder content, what you want to do when you connect the backenders, of course. Yeah. Update the thing. Yeah. So, yeah. so we just export so we can access these from Java. Right. So some sort of way. Uh, and so in our, in our uh, Java file right now, we will have those that we just yeah, here they are. exported mm -hmm. and you can actually do compositions with this so you can add this is actually a horizontal layout yeah now, now. it actually starts to look plain old varim program yes in a sense so now we designed that and actually our top level uh, layout was a horizontal layout and mm -hmm. this uh, class is actually a horizontal layout right uh, but as you can see you are not supposed to edit this file because uh, we realized when testing that that made a much better separation. Mm -hmm. So I can use this directly in composition, so I can actually add this. But if I, quite often I will want to extend this file yeah. and add the logic in a separate file. Mm -hmm. So so we are now in, in like Java land. This is nothing new to anyone. Yeah. Uh, I'll extend the message design mm -hmm. and maybe add the constructors and what I can do is actually I can add add the logic that I want here mm, yeah uh, and so on uh, so now now we actually have a separate design for the messages yeah so let's go ahead and actually modify our application so we have the UI yeah, so this here. is the main UI class. This is the main UI yeah. class. This is exactly as you get it when you create a new right. project with, yeah. the, with the plugin. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we'll do actually is we'll have uh, our, we call it applic, oops. Application design, oops. My 
my Eclipse is not cooperating. No, no it's working. Yeah. Yep. No. And we'll use that uh, as our main content. Right. And so uh, we didn't actually add any logic now. Mm -hmm. So you should also go ahead and extend that and add your logic to yeah, yeah, yeah. separation. Yeah, but that's but pretty much up to you as yeah. it's just Java. So, so yes. So just for this example, uh, what we'll do now is we'll, I think we'll create a really advanced backend for this. Oh yeah, go for it. So, so, uh, so you can maybe recognize some of this code here. <laughs> I might have seen something like this somewhere before. Yeah. Uh, so uh, design, we had that message list, right? Yeah. So that's where we want to add our messages. Yeah. And it's actually, as you can see, it is actually a, a vertical layout. Yeah. So uh, it has add component. Mm -hmm. I can just go ahead and add components. And so our message is now actually a, uh, yeah. our actual message. So with any luck, this should add about 10 messages. Uh, All right. Unless we typo things. <laughs> so, <laughs> so quick to notice. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so yes. So with any luck, this should should add a, a bunch okay. of messages when we run this on the server. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and try that. So I just run this on. Uh, we have done some modifications. We didn't say. Mm -hmm. uh, run it on Tomcat here, and see what we have. Okay. So here we have it. Actually, we have uh, some bugs here and that there's a, an interesting explanation for that. You can see that the second one is overflowing. Uh, we left a couple of those exactly. messages to the main design. So yeah. we, di we didn't actually, we didn't <laughs> yeah. actually remove these. Yeah, so we should clear the design right. when we, of course. or we can clear it here, yeah. uh, whichever we prefer. So, uh, you know, remove it remove it. Yeah. So. You can see it's also possible to, to um, okay, Tomcat is reloading. This is, now we're back to the regular like Java yeah. cycle. So instead of actually seeing yeah. the live preview, mm -hmm. now when I go back to, to my browser, I actually have to reload it to see the changes. Looks so, perfect. But yes, it works. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy that over to our okay, regular browser and we get the, the bigger yeah. version of it. You can scroll it. Looks good. So there you have it. There you have it. And let's see the original one. So yes. with these little actions, these few clicks, few drag and drops, uh, we're really, really close to this original design. Yeah, and I think the, the main thing to, to notice here is, well, first of all, it's, it's pretty fast yeah. and you can sort of try out things and, and adjust as you go along. There's not that back and forth. Yeah. You adjust some Java and try to guess, you go to the browser, wait for Tomcat to reload. Yeah, and, exactly. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, and then you see, well, I still want to adjust this or you, you get that sort of direct feedback. Mm, uh, yeah. while, while modifying your components, dragging them around, but also while styling and so on, which is quite yeah, powerful, yeah. I think. Yeah, definitely. So you can really actually see, you know, how I see the whole thing here is that, you know, there's not too much hassle with that to put everything in place, the style or layouting and all that. It's, you know, you get the instant feedback. And it's really interesting because we did this, our own little, you know, uh, end user testing that we did with Button Designer. So there's people that are seasoned Java developers and uh, they know Java API, the Button API is you know, really good. And we give Designer to them and they have to do the identical app yes. with Button and Designer. And those guys are twice as fast with Designer. Yes. And I think that's the, that's the secret. You get the instant feedback on how the UI will look like. Yeah, that's yeah. Pre pretty amazing. And also I want to mention that I got from that test, I actually got feedback that, uh, you know, 
Java programmers, you know, I'm quite yeah. skeptical about this oh, visual yeah. thing here. And I think many of us have been there. We have used some sort of tool in the past. Yeah. And it screws with our code. Excuse my French. <laughs> so, uh, yes. so uh, that's actually one thing that we, we tried to address here. So actually, if we hop over and we have our message list here. Mm -hmm. So say I... I go ahead and remove that so it's not exported to, to Java anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what uh, happened? Now what will happen is that you can see that we have a compile okay. time error. Yeah, we got an instance, yeah. yeah. So so the place where we actually access that right. is, goes red right away. It's a compile right, time right, error. Right. So with the Vaadin designer, you don't actually have that, which you usually have with declarative designs, yeah. that you do some string-based lookup Mm, and you true. don't you you get a com uh, or a runtime error if yeah, you if somebody true. so uh, so that's really powerful also because usually designs are not static yeah you will need to add something you will need to modify something and it's an iterative process so actually having that that security that you notice that oops there's actually some logic attached to this uh, yeah yeah button that I renamed or something all right beautiful so, a good tool for building visuals, but still for Java guys. Yes, exactly. All that's right. what we have been building. All right, all right. So, I think that's pretty much everything we want to show you at this point. So, uh, I guess there's quite, a many, quite many reasons to try it out. So, vaden.com slash designer, that's the place to go, go out and try that. Thank you, Mark, for your time. Thank you for the audience, for... for finding the time to look at this awesome stuff we have built for you guys. So go out, try it, have fun with it. Thank you. Thank you and goodbye. goodbye.